during your career, you're going to be working with a lot of tiny instruments and a lot of tiny restorations. And inevitably, it's going to happen that you're going to drop this restoration in your patient's mouth. If you're lucky enough, you're going to recover it quickly. But if you're unlucky and the patient, of course, is unlucky, they are either going to swallow it or even worse, aspirate it. He has a very simple trick to avoid this problem in case this happens to you. Imagine we have a healing abutment over here. You've just unscrewed it. You have it and it slips out of your hand. Immediately turn your patient so that it goes and settles safely in the buccal mucosa. It's impossible for them to swallow it at this point. If this was happening at the other end, let's say you're working on this side and you're working, you disconnect it, you take it out and you drop it, immediately turn them to the other side so that it sits safely in the buccal mucosa of that side, again making it impossible for them to swallow. What you shouldn't be doing is asking your patient not to panic or telling your patient not to swallow or telling your patient to calm down. All of these things are actually going to aggravate your patient or make them a little bit nervous and they may end up swallowing as a reflex. So instead, just do what I showed you. Just jerk the patient's neck to one side or the other depending on where that little object has fallen and you'll be able to safely trap it in the buccal mucosa and retrieve it quite easily. I hope I've confused you enough. This is the Dental Review Guy signing off with a smile.